So, uh, no, she, she just wanted to go and come home, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, before she died, she asked me, do you think I should have stayed home with your father and not worked? And she, I told her, no, because he, his medicine was over $100 a month, you know, at that right. time. I said, so she, she, she couldn't have his diabetic medicine. Right. Now, uh, Grandma Rowe had a sister and brothers. Could you talk a little bit about each of them? Okay, well, Carl Pullen was a two and die maker. People who don't work in factories don't really understand what that is. But you make machines on which the ones that are used in the factory. And uh, all my uncles could, uh, his two brothers could do that too. Mm. And <clears throat> he, uh, <coughs> <coughs> married a woman, I can't think of her name. But he had two daughters, Nancy and Myra, and they lived in Detroit. Mm. Nancy's my age, and Myra's a couple of years younger. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Aunt Eva married a man named McCullen, I think it was, and she had one daughter. But then she got divorced, and she married um, Harry Borland. Um, I'm really interested in knowing about Aunt Pearl and those, because and Uncle Bob and because I always heard you talk about those, the ones you were closest yeah. to. Mm -hmm. They were my mother's own brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. uh, but Eva had three children, Beth, my first husband, and Pat, Patsy Ruth Borland, and James Borland, uh, by her second husband. Mm -hmm. right. And he also was a tool and die maker. And uh, my Aunt Ioma, Married um, Arthur Ryder, a German man from Ann Arbor, and they had two children, um, Russell and uh, Virginia. Mm -hmm. And I should say that my uncle Carl went, went to France in the First World War. I've forgotten to say that about mm -hmm. him. And that was um, Aunt Pearl never had any children. No, Aunt Pro, my mother had, was the next in line, and she had my brother Larry and I. And then Aunt Pro was the next sister, next child. And uh, she had quite a few boyfriends. She could have married, I guess. But she was very fussy. And uh, she had one friend. She went with him for. 15, 16 years, and we, he was just like part of the family, mm. and we didn't have a car, and where we went, George took us, mm. so we all loved George, you know, and he's just really a good hard fellow. And very much in love with Pearl. Oh, yes, and finally he gave up and married somebody else, mm. but uh, I've seen his grave sites. They're in the same grave site that Aunt Pearl is. Yeah. He's in the same grave site? In the no, graveyard? No, same graveyard. Yeah, right. Aunt Pearl's all alone. Right. Yeah. And right now, uh, Granddaddy and Grandma are buried together? Uh, right next to each other. Yeah. In? In the country cemetery near Mound. <laughs> near Mound. Where my grandmother in and the her family, first In the family. Were. Yeah, there's four right. graves there. There's still four more in that plot. Mm -hmm. But <coughs> I tell my brother he should be married, uh, buried there, but he did, they haven't decided where they're right. going to be buried. Well, let's talk a little bit about uh, you're growing up and, and uh, you had a brother and uh, <coughs> what you remember about growing up in junior high and high school, just sort of the, your growing up years. Oh, well, Aunt K Aunt Bob married Aunt Kate. She was a secretary. And they never had any children. He had, what did he have? Oh, I'm not sure. You mean he has illness? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, 
I, I always heard you talk about Uncle Bob and Aunt Kay, but I didn't know, I didn't know necessarily what illness he had. Uh, he was epileptic. Epileptic, okay. And so she decided not to have any. And she just took care of him wonderfully. Mm -hmm. And then my uncle, uncle was married, and he had three children, Brian, uh, Dennis, Brian, and Sharon. And he and his wife were divorced. And he bought a little house near them so he could still see the children, you know. Mm. But he died when he was uh, 59. Mm -hmm. And both uh, Anne Eva and uh, Anne Alma died young, too. Mm. Uh, and but I was born in Meyer Hospital in Ypsilanti, and we lived on Moss Avenue in a house my cousin, my mother's cousin Thurlow and his wife Anna lived, Anna Vili. They lived uh, next door to us. Mm -hmm. And uh, lived there the first four years, and then they got the little house, 325 Prospect Street. Right. Built, and we moved there, and we lived there until I was 11, and then we built, uh, went into the house at 224 South Grove, mm -hmm. and uh, they... <coughs> now, did you ever uh, play sports when you were a little girl? I loved know? football. There were only boys near where I lived. I played what they played. Mm -hmm. But when I got into junior high school, we had a full uh, education. But I, because of my health, the doctor wouldn't let me take swimming. And we had swimming twice a week. And uh, But I never got to take swimming until I was in the 10th grade. What was wrong with your health? Uh, <clears throat> I had pneumonia. <laughs> oh, like uh, somebody else in your yeah. your children? Like, yeah. I used to have to have shots every time. I don't remember what they were, but mm -hmm. pull shots or something. Mm -hmm. And uh, but in the tenth grade, I insisted on learning how to swim. <laughs> and I was going to take it anyhow. And after that, we didn't have PE, but I still played after school. You know, basketball. Uh, field hockey and basketball and volleyball mm. and uh, baseball too or the softball for the girls I guess it was. Right. And well, what do you remember, what's your earliest memory of, uh, what's your, the things you remember the most from the earliest time? Uh, well I remember a tiny bit from the uh, house on Moss Avenue that we didn't have an inside bathroom. We'd have to run in the winter time out. <laughs> <laughs> and we had uh, to wear the whole wool of the whole underwear thing, you know. We right. had flaps. <laughs> right, right, right. But um, and I remember my mother and father pulling me on the sled in the winter. Mm -hmm. You know, when we went store, we did everything walking. Right. Yeah. So uh, my father could walk to work, and he, my, we, we always walked to school, you know. Mm -hmm. 